also bothers me because I feel like I'm putting my own dog to sleep. I said, damn, taking all that time, you done hurt these fans. I guess it take a while to put on that Hell's Angels jacket and them Eddie Murphy pants. <laughs> I'm the real nigga. Why? Fuck that mask. I want you to look your killer in the eyes. Once again, we're, we're back in the building. The combo. Oplex in the building. Your homies from BattleScene.net alongside of me. Tech Master Stro Stro. This year, great month. January, nothing but dope battles. We saw a lot of them. Talk to me about the current state of battle rap right now, man. Um, you know, I just talked to the salty dog, and I was like, "Yo, man, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, you know, disappointed in the battle scene at the at the moment. You know, there's been a couple of battles out. You know, of course, we stay up on them, so you're gonna see battles being posted by us. But you know, I'm looking for these, you know, these URL battles. Some some of these top tier. You know, some of these MCs that we just be dying to see. And, you know, it's just a testament to the strength of the URL brand that, that when it starts waning, who do we look to? We look to Smack, and that's just the bottom line. But, you know, overall, beyond that, I think it's all right. It's been a pretty good battle scene. Um, so far in these first, you know, coming out of these first 30 days, what's standing out to you uh, in the battle culture for the month of January. You know what? You know, I, I watched so many. Let me let me just look through some of my history. What's actually standing out? Um, I, I will say that DT versus that this right came to my mind just without even seeing it in the history was the DT versus Dre Vicious. Um, West Coast battle, two West Coast MCs. Dre Vicious is a little bit more known than um, DT. But DT is beginning to be one of the most slept on MCs, West Coast, East Coast, nationally, that I can identify hands down. And something about DT, you know, we, and we've been watching him for a while. We had the pleasure of dealing with him in the Mosh Pit. He got a win. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we stopped doing the Mosh Pit battle. But nevertheless, DT with a strong performance. And throw his ability to scheme and use wordplay sometimes simultaneously definitely puts him in a unique category in the battle rap culture. Would you think not? Man, let me tell you something. It, and and it's it's that um, along with his performance, like he's got that straight up MC performance. Dude will sit there in the ring. I think him and uh, maybe he and Chess. I feel like have some of the best kind of, like, stand in front of bars uh, stance. Like, Chess kind of gives the head down, look at you intimidatingly, like you are not affecting me with your bars. And DT gives the, yeah, he's get that, that head nod going on. And he's like, <laughs> mm-hmm, I hear you. I hear you. Oh, yeah, that was dope. Uh, he's just like, but, you know, I'm just waiting for my chance to bar you to death again, dude. And the, and his little, his, his, Cadence, um, yeah, kinda like yeah. drawn out when he gets to the to the punch, he'll draw it out and then get back to a little quick, quick delivery of the of the setup. He's definitely, uh, uh, I think he's he's a unique character and a unique presence in the battle rap game. And I think you know what he, he might just be. Um, it, it, and, you know, unfortunately, we have to talk about this, but with Young D uh, not being in the battle anymore, when you look at your up-and-comers, your top up-and-comers in AAT, DJ might – I think I think it's right there with DJ uh, and Dre Vicious. I think you can throw in Bobby at this point. I really, I really feel like you can throw Bobby in there. But some startling news coming from AHAT is that Emerson Kennedy is up for the title match. Or were you aware of that? I was not aware of that. You know, Emerson Kennedy is – Emerson Kennedy, I kind of got a love-hate relationship with this dude. You know, I love the bars. I kind of hate his approach to battle rap. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm cooking well, like you know. Let's 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 get it out the way, Stro. It's something about you, K, that you don't particularly care for. I've always been in this corner, but let's put that out there. And I think maybe this is what you're getting at. What's wrong with EK in your mind? It can't be the bars. He's pretty consistent in terms of bar and cash license. I, you know, I just want him to be all about battle rap. And, and, and I know that's not realistic, and it's probably not a smart move for any real MC. You know, like if you're a real MC, you kind of have your foot in production, in studio time, into album creation time into writing for that album, and then you got your battles. Now, you know, uh, in the immediate future, battle rap is kind of going to garner you more, probably going to garner you more money than producing single LPs and putting them on SoundClick or, you know, not SoundClick, but, you know, some of the... uh, iTunes, Amazon, MP3. Just like that, because, uh, frankly, I just don't think those are are real money-making ventures for MCs. They may be, they may not be. And as a battlehead, I'm you know, I always be looking for someone who is all in. And that's probably not conducive to a MC really in reality. But for me, I mean, yeah. It's a it's a turn off like okay, like you you're here and then you're not like I might talk to you two weeks from now, and you might be talking about how not serious you are about battle rap, and you may not even be battle rapping in the future. When I hear stuff like that, it's just like, I don't know if I should be taking you serious or not. And I I, I have so much to do in battle rap that I don't have time to spend on people who aren't taking battle rap completely seriously. That's my only problem with EK. I love everything else about him. And, 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 and to his defense, one thing we know about EK is that in the last, I think we can argue, in the last 16 months, he's been hit or missed. Never could quite get on a consistent run of battle, right? But the thing about EK is that every time he shows up, you do get all of the Kennedy season. So that's, and a lot of MCs don't have that. EK does. Right, right, and that is true. Another, and I will add the other thing is sometimes EK will allow, he'll let the crowd kind of, kind of get to him sometimes. Like if they're not feeling him like he feels they should be feeling him, he kind of gets out of that mode. Like he will quickly come out of straight battle mode into kind of like, dang, why are these guys feeling me mode? And that's the only other only other complaint I have about EK. Just ignore the crowd, dude. It's going to camp. And really, I know in the moment it feels like the crowd is all that matters. They're not, dude. They're the they're the they're probably the least uh, valuable factor in a battle because once it hits YouTube, it's international. Nobody's caring about the thirty people who happen to come to the show. real talk. Hey, hey, that, that's true. If you just tune in, you listen to the convo. Tech Master Stroke and Oplex, talk about EK going up for the title match uh, in AAT. Who is Emerson Kennedy? Well, I mean, this time last year, a lot of people didn't know about him. I think with his battle against a lot of Zay and Daylight Stroke, that kind of did put him on the map. And then, of course, we also are going to get a chance to see him in the West Coast PGs going down with KG the Poet in Arizona. So all of a sudden, it looks like Kennedy sees the heating up, Trump. You know what? And I will tell you this. I know K- KG is 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 a super aggressive MC. <clears throat> and one of the things that can offset incredible aggression is incredible swag or smoothness, shall we say. And yeah, a little and, and a little bit of passiveness too. Yeah, right. And EK is is a, a, a master at it. He's a master at getting his bars off without having to yell, scream, or intimidate you. He's literally like, "Oh, you didn't like that? Well, I got more bars for you." <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right, so. 
let, let's get to this story. I know that you guys have been talking in the Battle Team Dynamic group about this this Jag battle, uh, this what Jag versus Kirk Kutch. These pause worthy bars. Um, I know the homie ATN wanted me to address it. First off, let me say uh, that to me, you know, do I want to hear um, bars that are associated with, you know, in fact, let me be honest with you. I really don't care to hear, you know, how you're doing your girl or how you're doing your man. I really don't care to hear the details of all that stuff in the battle rap period. So, so I'm saying that across the board. With that said, I do kind of feel like, I don't know, not that it was blown out of proportion. I definitely don't think it's, it's something that's going to work in this culture. So you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. And, 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 and bear with me. I'm literally trying to get the St. Mike in right now. I'm, I'm going to get his number. If it all fails, um, I'll have you call and three-way him in. If it all okay. I'm looking for him now. He's seeing he's trying to get in. It's giving him that thing where it says the pen is being used. Talk to you at times can be painful to work with. It's just a, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's just not the the best service you can find. Um, <laughs> are you online, Plex? Can I text you his, can I send you his number via Facebook? Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Let me shoot that to you right now. I just got his number. Uh, you want me to send it to you, Facebook, or text it to you? Uh, just send it to Facebook. All right, so I just sent a Facebook message to you. Got the number here. Uh, he's going to try one more time. We'll see if he pops up. I'd have him try to call back one more time. Um, go ahead with that last question. Let me see what he says. Go ahead. Um. Oh, the pause-worthy bars. Where, where were you at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I mean, once again, it's something, I think, I think let's just face it, you know, and, you know, nobody wants to talk about what's really going on. This is what's going on, Stro. You're, you're diving right into a very homophobic territory when you're dealing with battle rap, you know. Typically speaking, when you hear homo bars, it's typically an MC accusing the other MC of being gay or being on some gay ish, if you will. You feel me, Strong? Right. All right. So now we get a guy in the ring that definitely says, you know, some things that alluded to to homosexual activity in this very homophobic environment, and then you kind of get the fiasco that we saw in the Kirk Kush versus Jack. Battle, and you know we messed with the homie Milltown Blow, but it's kind of it, it's kind of interesting to show that it that it kind of gets it gets released. So it, it's it's rather ironic to me, if it all makes sense. Well, what's your take on this show you know, so far, my people? That's kind of where I'm at. That's pretty much where I'm at. With this. You know, I feel like you know I I understand while it was released, it was material, it was time spent recording it. The other battler didn't come off like that, so why should he be punished? I think they cut it short um, in an effort to kind of, you know, let them know that. And I, I'm I'm not okay with this. And and it's not even. I don't, I don't think it has anything to to do with being homophobic in a sense, because if you notice, the true. Uh, Homosexuals who actually adult transsexuals, be it be uh, what's what's the guy's name uh, from A? Uh, uh, no shame. No, about no shame out in uh, A. Well, no shame gets on, on on stage in front of the cam. He's not talking about effing you. He's not talking <laughs> about what he would do to you in the bedroom. He's just rapping. Now, when you have another quote unquote straight MC start talking about what he would do to your butthole <laughs> on 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 stage. Um what 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 do you expect? It's almost disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? Like I will F you on camp. No, that's not okay. 
That's not okay. That's not okay. Oh, man. I'm going to text you uh, St. Mike's number because I really want to get Okay, let me, uh, in fact, I got it right here, so I'll get them on. Yeah, try to see if your three-way will work. I know we had issues in the past. Hopefully it will work. All right, let me see what happens here. Oh, she was All right, hold, hold it down real quick. While I do Holding it down. Plex is on the other line. Battlescene.net, Tech Master Stro. If you haven't seen it, check out that best of HA double. Best wordplay you're going to find on the net. Killing it. N-O-B-L. Houston Barcode. Got Bars TV. Southern Battle Rap. We out here. That's how we do. Keep it real. Understand, you need to check it out. Check out that double inverse William H. We're going to talk about that here in a minute. Plex might not have seen it, but I'm going to bring it up. We're going to talk about that. Some of the best bars you ever seen from Double M. He's killing it. Best third round you ever seen from William H. He's killing it. Just couldn't take the first and second. Understandable. It's not that easy to take the first and second when you got the best double M you ever seen standing before you. Bars. B-A-R-E. No doubt. So we're back in the building. Bars. Uh, hey, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it, it's a great pleasure to bring them back on the show. You're listening to BattleScene.net's combo. We got St. Mike in the building. Hey, yo, what's good, BattleScene.net? What's happening, man? man? Yo, what's good, man? Good to be back, man. I'm chilling, man. How are you? I'm still- hey, man, we're maintaining, man, pushing through, man. You know what I mean? Just I watching you battle. <laughs> yeah, I see y'all, man. I stay up on the up and up, man. I still tune in all the time, man. To make sure I'm up to date, shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, shout yeah. out to y'all for that. You know, ain't nobody oh, watching God, battles that. like this, dude. I'm telling you, and I saw that war report. Oh my God, dude, what they just draw on the war report? I had to text you. I had to Facebook you right away. Like, I'm telling you, I, I was in the middle. I was in the middle of listening. This is the first time I, I was in the middle of listening to it. Like, oh shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga, that salute, man. Yeah, man. I, and the crazy thing is, man, that shit is old, man. That shit is old as hell. Wow, dude. That yeah, was, that, that was some like, dope stuff, like, man. This dude is on some Eminem Royster 5-9 times 10 stuff right here. Oh, good work, yeah. man. Good work, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's dope. That's dope. Yo, so Saint Mike, man, what's good? Let's let's get right into the nitty gritty, man. Get a fast what they want, man. Like, talk to us about the downtime. You know, we know for a minute, man. We didn't yeah. see you. You know, we didn't see you that much. We figured as much that you were probably, you know, what I mean, off the radar and getting stuff straight. Um, now you're resurfacing again. But talk to us about the downtime and what was fine. Oh uh, yeah, man. You know, um, I think that more. You know, obviously as a battle rapper, man, I'm I'm trained to go. So they call, we out here. You know what I mean? But in essence, I think that uh, you know the team, the league in itself, um, they got a lot of artists. You know what I'm saying on the roster, man. They had different people they were trying to focus on, and you know uh, the people that were were on the UFF tournament. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. A lot of people were getting, you know taking advantage of the sign at that moment, I had to kind of fall back. Uh, in yeah. the meantime, though, you know, they, they, they linked me up uh, with Kid Capri, you know what I'm saying, Norris, that's salute to Norris, man. Um, they linked me up with Kid Capri. Me and Chess did the thing out in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, if y'all seen it, then. <laughs> no, no, man, congratulations on that, on that, too, by the way. No, this is the first time I'm hearing of this. So talk to oh, okay. about that. What's going yeah, on with so Kid Capri? Uh, you know, um, he was he's doing that uh, top tier mixtape, you know what I'm saying, where he actually got with the battle rappers and, uh, you know, did an album, tried to show him that, you know, that curse ain't real, man. It should have myth. So salute to right. Capri for that, you know what I'm saying. Um, I'm not on this volume, you know what I mean, but I've been, I've been chopping it up with him and shit. Uh, you know, but it's a good, definitely a good networking opportunity for me. Uh, and, you know, that battle with Chess was, was crazy, so... I uh, got a chance to, you know, because I wasn't on the UFF tournament, you know what I'm saying, I still got a chance to take a stab at least one of the contenders. You know, I'm gunning for the rest of them, but they don't know it yet. So, you know, that whole roster dies, so one by one. Yeah, yeah talk to me about that chess battle, uh, heating confrontation. You end that battle. 
but going into battle with someone like that, I mean, we're dealing with that, that whole we go hard TV nation, and these are high-end, dramatic, but great performers and, and reachers. So, so you being more old school and straight to the punch kind of MC, talk to me about your strategy going up against the young buck and chess. Oh uh, man, it was it was fun because like you know I I, just, man, I think I can speak for most battle rappers if they're serious about the craft. I mean, you custom make that casket, so I had to do a little bit of studying on chess, man. But I knew not to take him lightly. You know what I mean? The dude punch for his age, like that's crazy. Yeah, he's capable of doing it for his age. So I don't disagree with Norbs and calling the LeBron of the game right now. I I agree with that 100. percent But I I just dunked on LeBron. You know what I mean? <laughs> Where my motherfucking Weezy box at, nigga? You know what I'm saying? But we're going to get into that later. But, uh, you know, like, my strat- my whole strategy with him was just I knew I had to I had to match his intensity. You know what I'm saying? I knew I had to spaz. I had to scream on him because uh, that's what he's going to do. And if you, you know, when you get that kind of momentum based off your delivery, the punches are that much harder. You know what I'm saying? So I, right. knew, I knew he was capable of building that momentum like that for all three rounds. So in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to spaz on boy. All three rounds. There's no, there's no way somebody half my age for the to beat me, man. It's not going down. So that right. was fun, man. I had fun with that. But me and Chess kicked it that whole day, man. Dude, cool as fuck. Salute to Chess. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Real good dude. His head is on where it need to be to get somewhere in this shit. So like, for him being at his age, the sky's the limit, man. You know what I mean? So salute to him. No, no. But yeah, I had to body him, man. I had to body him. I had to- <laughs> <laughs> Whoever else in this quick one, son, my body them too, man. Fucking so weed. I gotta talk my shit now. I'm seeing that's what's missing. So you know, any of y'all niggas right. can get it. Any now, of y'all niggas can get it. Hey, now check this out. So you're you're out in Omaha, right? Yes, sir. All right. Now, what's it? What's the battle scene like there now? You know, because when we first linked up with you, you know, we had the whole big stuff out with with Ali and all, you know, all that. And so where where is, you know, Omaha, you know, with Battle Rap now? You guys still, you know, doing the local leagues? What, what's going on? Oh, yeah. So, you know, Central Battle Association, the home league, they're still active, man. You know, they had to take a short hiatus, but they're back on track now trying to, you know, get some new talent out there and stuff. But, I mean, you know, now that the city kind of sees somebody, you know, that there's a chance, you know what I'm saying, for somebody from Nebraska of all places, you know what I mean, to actually, right. you know, contribute something to the culture. I think, you know, that they starting to get a little more motivated now, man, so the battles are getting more intense. They starting to catch on to what, how the culture works. Because, I mean, again, I'm from Nebraska. These niggas catch on last to everything. You know what I mean? So battle rap wasn't necessarily something at the forefront until somebody brought it to them. So, like, you know, I'm trying to tell Norbs and all that, and, you know, them too. Like, you know, these dudes is looking for something. You know what I'm saying? They're looking for something out here too. There's a lot of right. talent out here that's untapped. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to keep myself, you know, trying to contribute what I can to keep the battle shit moving out here. If anything, by, you know, showing them that, hey, I'm on URL, man. You know what I mean? I fuck with these cats. It's possible, man. Don't give up. You know what I'm saying? On the business side and on the rapping side. Don't give up. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you're still you're still down with the Avo Quick, right? Absolutely. Okay. Boom. So talk to us just about, you know, what can we expect to see in the near future? Because it feels like your momentum is picking back up, like I said, especially coming off that chess win. So where are we at now? Can we expect uh, you battling soon or another battle to try? Man, I'm, I'm the, you know, I'm waiting on the call in essence, but uh, I got a feeling I could probably set something up for this PG versus Bet series they got going on, you know what I mean? Um you know, when you're on contract with URL and stuff like that, I mean, it's really, if you're trying to honor the contract and you're trying to, uh, you know, do business with them, in essence, you really can't do nothing but sit back until they got some space for you. Because there's a lot of niggas in that league, man. It's a whole lot of them. And they all probably harassing the dude the same, you know what I mean? So it's like, I'm I'm willing to sit back and I, I spent the first year, you know, doing what they was doing with me and filling them out. So now it's time to move, you know what I mean? And Abo been riding with me the whole way. They've been supporting me. This Abo mixtape in the drop. Y'all cop that, peak that, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be coming soon. It's crazy. Right. It's crazy. It's absolutely bananas. Um, but, you know, as far as battling go, I mean, keep it a buck with you, man. I'm waiting on the call, man. It's it's whoever. But in essence, I'm probably going to get somebody pissed off and convince them to sign that death certificate in this rap, man. I just It's just been, you know, what's the right move for me as somebody that's currently being slept on anyway. So I've really got to make sure that my next battle ain't something that can continue that, that pattern, you know what I mean? 
So I'm I'm just plotting on the next victim, man. Really, and I, I don't mind waiting. You know what I mean? Because it's about it's about the fight. And that's what's right. up. You know, like I'm gonna tell you, like initially with the the contract thing, as a as a fan, it's difficult. Um, initially, before you kind of get a grasp on how it kind of works, um, so a lot of people, including myself, at one point beat up on URL for for feeling like these contracts are holding people back. But like when you watch the oversaturation, sometimes, and I don't think that you know people shouldn't battle all the time, but like. Now it's getting to the point where you're just, like, seeing any and everything pop off. It's almost a breath of fresh air to kind of see somebody you've been waiting on, the anticipation, the buildup, and it's like, okay, now I get to see them. And, and it almost builds more of an appreciation around it. I'm starting to have an appreciation for the contracts because, like, it, it adds more quality to the culture instead of, you know, living off quantity, the quantity is kind of not paying off for me anymore. I'm like being, I was telling players, I'm like disappointed with what I'm seeing. Like I, I need the quality back and, and I'm, right. I'm, I'm down with that now. I'm on, I'm on the contract side. I know that sounds whack to some <laughs> people, but man, that's where I'm at now. I appreciate it. Yeah, but it shouldn't, man. It shouldn't because we're getting so close to that. You know, they're getting so close to that industry you know, they're tapping into it, man. And the thing is, is that when you tap into something that's not street, I mean, the streets is great. You know what I'm saying? Contracts are black and white. Can't mix the two. You know what I mean? So when these, as these dudes are progressing and transitioning in the, in the business, you got to protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? And you can't just be putting on anybody. And people got to realize when you run a business, it's about profit and it's about overhead. You know what I'm saying? And how you are absorbing that overhead and, and breaking even and, and turning it into a profit. So when you when you look at it at that aspect, these dudes gotta protect themselves. But at the same time, as an artist, you gotta understand why you're in battle rap. A lot of these niggas is trying to make a career out of a promo tool. You feel me? Yeah, it's not yeah. why you hit. You can't do it. The numbers don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that's making money that can say, "Hey, this is a career for me," have has been doing this from day one. That's your moves, your luxes. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They getting the thirty racks, the forty racks. You can't make no living off this shit. Let's be real. It's not yeah, going to work yeah. like that. But if you know why you're here and you understand, you know what I'm saying, like publishing and, and copyrights and, and, and what your intellectual property is, then you know why you're here and you know that there's other avenues within this platform where you can take advantage. So as far as I'm concerned, like with the war report, you know what I mean, I'm going to keep hitting these niggas upside the head until they sick of me. That's just dude, That's just how it is because I, I came here with a plane. You know what right. I mean? It, so I, it, is there somebody that you have in your crosshairs? Uh, I mean, let's talk about it. Uh, URL's hot right now. We're seeing guys like T Top. Uh, you got Ill Will. I'm talking about you know the newer, the newer generation. Adi Boom, yeah. Danny. Like, is there someone in particular that you might even have tension with that you want to see in the ring? Um, not necessarily tension because niggas is acting like they on their pillows on me right now, which I'm loving that shit. Please continue doing that because the ass whooping going to be that much worse for you. You saw what happened. You know what I'm saying? But, like, honestly, I'm old school with it. You know what I mean? And I kind of respect John John the Don for the route he took as well because that's kind of my logic is that if you can't, if you can't knock out everybody in your class, then, then you, I mean, should you really try to be going for the next level? I mean, everybody trying to do the right thing for their own promotion and their own brand and all that. But, I mean, I'm here for respect, man. I'm here because I know what this promo tool is for. And y'all going to bump my shit, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm going to beat your favorite rapper ass as an, a reason for you to go listen to my music. So it's like everybody in my class can die, especially, you know what I'm saying, the cats that – because Quad just kept, I was supposed to be on UFF, you know what I mean? That was something that, – that was a stipulation of something I, you know what I'm saying, put on the dotted line. And I wasn't on UFF, as you can tell, you know what I'm saying? I'm not mad yeah. about that. That's cool, you know what I mean, because in the, in the long run, I want to have the most impact anyway, you know what I mean? So that's I'm cool with that. But the thing okay. was is that everybody, I had something, you know what I'm saying, at least a little bit something prepared for everybody that was going to be on that roster, you know what I mean? Not necessarily as far as writing, but my angle, you know what I mean? I knew where I was going to go with them. Um, yeah. And I still stand, yeah. you know, I still stand on that strategy. So, you know, I, I – quietly, kind of indirectly gave everybody a hint, or I blatantly said, but my whole class dies, but I'm real serious about that. Like, anybody that got on when I got on, 
you're going to get this work because I feel like I need to do that to make sure that, you know, I solidify my spot when I'm going to the next step. Now, if any vet want it, they can die too, but it's, you know, it's not. I, again, I'm going I'm to take the traditional route, man. I'm going to battle everybody because, honestly, feeding the vet right now when they're running all this clone crap down your throat, I honestly don't even feel like feeding these men. Right, if I right. had the opportunity to battle somebody in my class and we versus, you know what I'm saying, battling one of these dudes is disrespected anyway because, you know what I'm saying, they're trying to stay relevant, I ain't feeling that, man. You know what I mean? Keep it a bug. If you're going to keep it rap, keep it rap. It don't matter when I got here. You know what I'm saying? If you want to battle me, say you want to battle me. If you're scared of me, say you're scared of me, and we can just leave it at that. You know what I mean? I'm a, but I'd rather say my niggas. This out there play, since you asked, we didn't get nobody from the state, Mike. I'm going to tell you, you know, I love matchups. I love thinking about them, making them up. I'm trying to see yeah. Mike H.A. double. <laughs> Bars. Yeah, I've been hearing that a lot. Hey, a couple of my people have been saying, like, yo, you need to battle him. That'd be crazy. You know, I, I, I agree. Classic. Yeah, I, I, I definitely think that would be a dope battle, but I don't think it would be as good as St. Mike versus Jonah. Yeah. <laughs> I I I gotta check that dude. I've yet to peep that dude, hey, man. I hey, all this hey, buzz man. with this PG, they need to drop it. Let me put you on something right here. If you ain't check him out, you ain't gotta wait to a PG. Go check out. I believe it's Bar Wars, or is it? Is it? Is it? No, I'm sorry. It's gonna be it's War Games. No, that's, that's on battle War Games. Go check out Jonai versus OT Seven. And you will have a brand new respect for an MC. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you that link right now. That's your homework. Go check him okay, out. Cool. Go check. Yeah, him. I'm gonna have to check him out, man. That's, you know, I battle the cast that I want to fight, man. I want to fight, dog. Like He's I don't gone. want, I don't want none of this gimmick shit. Let me tell you man, something. I want, yeah. You, 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 you in for some? <laughs> yeah. Yo, you know what? You should tell Norris to set that up. That would be a dope one. You versus Jonah. <laughs> You should yeah, you know still on URL. I keep hearing you on KOTV now or something. Hey, let me tell you something. All I got to say is homeboy is sick, and both of y'all pins is going to meet, and it's going to be a, it's more of a classic than you and AJ. I promise you. You want some You want some competition? Go face Jonah. I promise you. Yeah. Back me up on that. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, point me in the direction there. Hey, as of right now, man, anybody in my class can be. Die, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Or at least, yeah. at least try to kill me for real. Don't, don't. As long as you don't come taking me lightly and shit. I mean, I think everybody learns because Chess, Chess could have made that a classic, man. You know what I'm saying? And and even with him, you know what I'm saying? I know the situation that was going on as the battle and the events was occurring. He was a little tight about some shit. You know what I'm saying? But that should have made him spit even better, in my opinion. But like, don't sleep on me, man. If you're listening. And you thinking if you even thinking about writing a bar for your boy right now, don't sleep. Don't That's the beauty that of Jonah. He don't he doesn't face opponents. He don't write for the opponent's quote unquote skill set. He coming out to murder you. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I want. That's what I want, bro. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so, he, he's yeah, that kind if, of guy. If you fight like that, then let's do that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Norris can set that up, you know what I'm saying? If y'all I don't know what's going on. I don't know the politics and stuff, man. I try to stay out the campaign office and shit, but, you know, it's whatever. It's whatever, whoever. Well, we'll, we'll definitely clip this up and send it to Norris and see, see uh, perhaps if that's something that can happen. It, it would be good for the culture uh, because yeah. I think both of you guys are, like, exceptional writers, exceptional writers, um, well, no, and, and, and you're able to uh, vocalize it uh, very effectively and efficiently, so. Someone like yeah. Jonah, who who really is like Danny Myers said, uh, you know, the battle team he had wrap up. Uh, I believe he said that he was the best unknown MC in battle rap. Remember that show? Yeah. Hey <laughs> man, listen. I'm gonna tell you when when Plex put me on Jonah. Plex was actually at this battle live, and so I got to hear about it before I got to see it, and you know. When I hear about an MC, I've heard about so many that I just can't. I take it with a grain of salt. And when I saw when I saw this dude, I kept texting Plex, "Damn, I would hate to stand in front of them bars." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about, though. That's you know, if you got that kind of punch power, man, then it's gonna be a fight, man. Because hey. I'm I'm coming, 
I'm battling my last shit. I ain't even battling dude, you know what I mean? But if he got something to offer like that, I'm definitely going to do my homework on him and, you know. I just might be able to get see you in your Facebook. It's, it's in your message box right now when we get off this call. <laughs> you can go yeah, check that out. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I'm with that, man. And that's, that's we trying to bring this hunger back, man, because that's the, that's the thing, man. Like, we all get wrapped up in trying to protect ourselves and trying to get paid and trying to make sure we don't get fucked, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and we lose sight of what we all here for, you know what I mean? And that's yeah, what we turn yeah. our fucking heads off. That's, that's the point, you know what I'm saying? I get to write a dissertation as to why I think you're shit compared to what I'm doing. Bars. That's, that's the goal. Right, that's a boss. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, and, and whoever doing that, salute to you, man. I, I take I take L's from from lyricists if I had to. You know what I'm saying? But I I don't have to. <laughs> you, you, I mean, you, your your pen is very deadly. Do you see it in your mind? I want to give the fans a, a real take at your mind. Do you see yourself being able to compete with someone like Danny Myers? Someone that's gonna have money ball bars probably every eight, at least once every eight, you get money ball bar shots at your lever. You absolutely, know? absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Now, now, Danny okay. is my ad bro, so that that probably wouldn't happen. Right, so, right. You know. I know that, but yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so, so but yeah, that's you. who I'm looking for though. I'm looking for the Danny Myers. I'm looking for the JCs. I'm looking for the, you know, what I mean, somebody that's gonna make it where it's guaranteed. I mean, you know, you can't deny what just happened. You know what I mean? This right. was a fight. This was something that, you know, was something to talk about. Uh, besides, you know, did you see the nigga, you know, uh, slap the nigga with a sock or some crazy shit? You know what I'm saying? It, it, let's get back to these bars, man. And that's that's it. You know what I mean? You're here to promote your talent. You know what I mean? To the point where they took the producer from you. And it's just you. Right. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, well, that's what we're going to get it back to, man. And if not, you're going to get your ass whooped. And that's pretty much how it's going to go with, you know, my name getting mentioned. I'm sure there's other killers out there, you know what I'm saying, they got the same mentality. It sounds like Joe Nas is one of them. So I'm going to check them out for sure, man. Salute to the boy. Uh, if I end up having to kill you, you know what I'm saying, don't take it personal. It's all respect. All business. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Hey, so let's, let's, let's talk battles. Uh, say, Mike, what, what battles have been uh, standing out to you? I know you big doing some maintenance on the game. January was a crazy month. Talk to me about some of your favorite battles coming out of January. Oh, man. The first one that come to my head, though, was like Chess versus Gwee. That shit was crazy. Yeah, it's very that shit was crazy, man. Because I figured, you know, the old boy came off of hell. He was going to come back crazy, you know what I mean? So, like, but the dude Gwitty was like a breath of fresh air, you know what I mean? Like, for the game, period, like, it was new, you know what I mean? It was he had yeah, yeah. Wordplay with it, so that that was something that I appreciated. You know what I'm saying? Out of the culture, um, you know, a lot of the, the mainstream battles. I'm missing them. I'm I'm kind of behind, to be honest with you. I ain't checked that Big K versus Arsenal. I heard that shit was a dud, though. It was. Um, it kind of turned into a political battle, as opposed to the. It was weird because, man, you know, I look at it. You know, I, I check it out in my feed. Like I got a, I got, a, I got hundreds of subscriptions. So I'm like, oh, shit, uh, Arsenal versus Big K, got to be a classic. Well, it would have been had not, you know, Arsenal basically started it out like, I wasn't even supposed to be here, but they trying to sue me because I might not have came, and then it was all about that. Okay, so the first two rounds, Big K actually spit. The third round, Big K decided to actually focus on his Virginia brethren, and, and I guess he may not be receiving love like he feels like he should from his home state. So he addressed them and basically told them, look, without me, ain't nobody even looking at Virginia, which is real talk. But unfortunately, it made the battle to where it was not a classic. I call it bars on death. Wow. But, you know, I mean, you're looking at it as a fan, and you can feel the energy. It's like these dudes only want to be here. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that takes away from the battle. It wasn't. It wasn't what it could have been. That's that's unfortunate for the league, for the battle, for the battlers, and for the fans. You know what I'm saying? But you know, hey, it is what it is. It happened. But you know, that battle yeah. wasn't what it could have been. Right. That's what I'm hearing, man. You know, I'm gonna have to check it out still. You know what I'm saying? Salute to them. I mean, you know, you just gotta remember why you're here, man. And it's easy to get caught up in that shit, man. It's easy to get caught up in the popularity and all that. You know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to build your brand, but you forget, you know what I'm saying? It's the resume that's going to get you the job. You know what I mean? 
So you got to make sure your resume look good, man. No matter what these niggas come on, man, if you're doing your job, it's going to show, and it's going to show on your resume. So when you show up like, yo, I got classics, man. I, I did. Even if you got, if it's not a classic, it's a body. That's that's how you need to, that's the mentality you need to have, man, when you come in, right, is you're promoting yourself as a brand. Like, your brand got to be strong. Imagine if, you know, the, the brawny paper towels came out talking about they're the strongest paper towel and the shit wasn't worth a damn. You know what I mean? Right. Because they, they already got money, so they don't care. So now it's one ply instead of two ply. You know, niggas gonna be like, "What the fuck?" You know what I'm saying? I used to yeah. be able to pick up Kool Aid with this shit. Now I can't. And I think that you know what I mean. Something that might need to be talked about because if you think about it, you got Arsenal coming in as not arguably, but factually the most viewed battle rapper on earth. You know what I'm saying? Like, one of the greatest, man. One yeah. of the greatest. And you got Big K, who is one of the heaviest punchers. On earth, that's just hands down. And I mean, I think what happened is we got a battle of egos instead of a battle of MCs. You know what I mean? And that's what happened. Wow, we yeah. got egos yeah. instead of the MCs. Right, and typical, typical rapper shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's something we got to break out of because if you're trying to adopt the business of music, you know what I'm saying? There's still a professionalism you got to carry out. You know what I mean? That throughout your career, man, and that, and I and I mean that talent wise, like don't slack on your craft, man, because you can. That's the, it's gonna affect you. You know what I mean? It's gonna it's gonna affect you. You're gonna always get reviewed. You here to be judged by uh, thousands and millions of people. You know what I mean? They yeah, gonna, they're gonna crucify you every chance they get. <laughs> it's like yeah, you know, yeah. it's like a platinum MC basically slacking on his writing for his sophomore album simply because he went right. platinum in his first. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And that's, you know what I'm saying, that's something that, you know, cats got to understand, man, is you never get a second chance to make a first impression. And when you're showing up to a battle against a different dude, you got to make an impression, man. So it's really, I mean, you got to, really, you got to battle yourself, man. You got to try to beat your last performance. That's how, that's how I approach it. So I, I tap out of lyrics, which ain't going to happen, you know what I mean, no time soon. Like, I'm trying to yeah. do myself. That way I know I'm confident going into this battle and I can have fun, you know what I'm saying, because I, I know my, my, my sword sharp, you know. It ain't, yeah. you know. it ain't about none of that other bullshit. All that shit, that, that's what's going to stand out. That's what's going to remain timeless about you as an artist is what you've done. Without question, if you're just tuning in, we got St. Michael on the line. You listen to the convo with Ballastine.net. Yeah, so say Mike, so definitely this year we should see something, and we're and, oh, yeah. and we're talking about on the URL channel probably going to be a notable battle. Oh yeah, that's the you know what I'm saying like I said I'm I'm showing these dudes loyalty. They're giving me opportunities I've never had. You know what I'm saying, and you know, a cat coming from Nebraska, I know what that's worth. You know what I mean? So I'm definitely rocking with URL. You know what I'm saying? Nobody else, man. Like you know until you know the the business is right and. Everybody trusts everybody, and you know what I'm saying? We we can all build together and eat together, you know what I'm saying? I'm riding with them. Um, you know, I've done a couple battles outside of URL, man, with body bag battles out in Colorado. You know, I love Colorado, so I'm out there. Yeah, I'm uh, liking them yeah. right about now. They have been putting on some quality battles. I believe I saw, I think I wrote this up. It was called East Coast Showing Out West, and it had to be like, I think it was Young Cannon. Oh, uh, Jay Money. And, yeah, I cannot remember, but I, I remember, like, I, I'm noticing that that they're actually booking talent 3,000 miles away to put together yeah. a decent battle, and that's what it takes. Yeah, absolutely, man. And, and Colorado economy kind of good right now, so, you know, it looks like they, they're in a position to get that done, man. And they, it's a good league. You know what I'm saying? They they show hospitality, they treat you good when you're there. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 all love. So you know, I'm I'm supposed to be battling somebody out there in April, uh, a dude named Mike Mike. But again, with the contracts and everything, we're still trying to finalize that and shit. You know what I mean? But it's all love with body bag battles. Um, I'm more than likely gonna be back out there. Uh, should be it should be another classic or body man with Mike Mike. He's from us. Uh, Get that? He I think salute to the kid. Um. Yeah, okay, he's okay. He's dead. Mike, Mike, we got to look him up, see what's going on there. Yeah, yeah, you know uh, what, yeah. I'm think, I think I might be thinking about Colorado rap, actually. Uh, so that's the same thing. I think they all, they all one umbrella, you know what I'm saying? Okay, it's like yeah, that was Steve Riley versus Young Cannon. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did that too, that's right. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. It's like, man, you don't expect to see two. I mean, those are two East Coast MCs. I mean, they they had to fly them guys out. So, I mean, good stuff yeah. going on. And Colorado's really showing out this year, man. Yeah, man. Culture thriving all as a whole, man. They thriving, man. I just want to, I want to see these niggas, you know what I'm saying, be able to differentiate between street shit and business shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't blend them motherfuckers, man. You're going to have to draw a line. You go out to stay professional from one aspect. If you can keep it hood, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. But when it comes to this black and white, you know what I mean? Everybody got to hold their in. You know what I'm saying? And that's something that people need to understand going into it, as well as the leagues going, you know, at these artists as well. Like it's got to, it's got to balance out. So you know, they try to, you know, keep shit in a gray area. But as an artist, you can't do that to a label, and as a label, you can't do that to an artist. You know what I'm saying? So once everybody figures out, you know what I'm saying, as they transition into the bigger audience and all that, you know what I mean? Right. They're going, it's going to get figured out, and I'm going to be sitting here waiting, you know what I mean? And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be popping popcorn, you know what I'm saying, until I got to pick up that sword, man. But until then, man, I'm here, you know what I mean? I'm going to keep – every time somebody drops something on War Report, I'm dropping something. I'm here. <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Well, we definitely appreciate you coming back on, man. Hey, man, I love being on here, man. Shout out to BattleScene.net, man. Don't nobody do it like y'all, bro. I appreciate that, man. Hey, Techmaster Stro, man, any final comments before we get out of here, man? Yo, man, all I'm trying to do, I want to I wanna keep people on, you know, I'm from the South, so I'm always watching Southern Battle Rap. And don't forget these Southern Battle Rappers. You got Double M versus William H. That came out of Enter the Dungeon. Those cats are out of Tampa, Florida trying yeah. to actually start to put on, and uh, that's a quality battle. That's the best I've seen Double M. I'm starting to see, like, major progression out of this dude. Um, so I just wanted to give a big shout-out to that lead and Double M and William H. That's all I had to say. All right, that's what's up. You've been listening to the combo with BattleScene.net. Check me out to Stro Oplex and the big homie St. Mike Lee. Wow. All right. It also bothers me because I feel like I'm putting my own dog to sleep. I said, damn, taking all that time, you done hurt these fans. I guess it take a while to put on that Hell's Angels jacket and them Eddie Murphy pants. <laughs> I'm the real nigga. Why? Fuck that mask. I want you to look your killer in the eye.